What is going on everyone? Thanks for entering the lobby of hobbies. I'm Jazz and I know it's been a while since we've had a Lobby Talks episode, but on this episode I want to talk about a topic that is near and dear to my heart and that is diversity in this industry. I know you've probably heard many of your favorite content creators, publishers, um, just people in the industry in general talking about how we can make this um, industry more diverse and getting it to be a little bit more different, seeing more faces in this industry. So I've compiled a list of four things that I think can truly help with getting more diverse people into this hobby and keeping that diversity in this hobby as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let's kick off this conversation talking about how you get true diverse community. Now, we know that race and gender is just a small sliver of the pie, but to have true diverse community, we gotta encompass everything, right? Um, age, sexual orientation, social economic status, um, religion, disabilities, gender identities, you name it, we want it, right? Say it with me, we want everybody in the mix because that's what a true, beautiful, diverse community is gonna look like. So how do we get there? We know, or I truly believe, that inviting people to the table is just the beginning. That's the easy part. The hard thing is keeping them at the table because when you can keep them at the table, you're one step closer to having them be a part of the community. So what are we as the people already in the community, consumers, content creators, designers, publishers, what are we doing or not doing that's pushing people away from being a part of the community? Now, yes, we know that there are people who are just toxic, who don't want the change, don't want the diversity. Those are people who are just, you know, have that prejudice, that nasty tone, people who are just abusive in their actions, in their words. We know that that's something that needs to be squashed like a bug, get it out of here, because that's not helping. I'm talking about the people who want to see the change. What can we do? So this list, again, is just a small list of four things that I think are stepping stones to helping us get there. Now, there's gonna be more, and if you have something that you wanna share, please, down in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. All right, so the first thing on my list is having a mentality that there's always room at the table. Understand that there's people who come from, you know, situations in their life where they've been unwelcomed or unwanted simply because of their lifestyle, maybe how they look, how they talk, and a bunch of other things. Put yourself in this situation. You're at your local game shop with your friends and there's someone completely new to the environment that walks in. And they come over to your table and they're just, you know, watching you getting ready to play this game and there may or may not be a seat at the table for them to join. But instead of, you know, inviting them to that extra seat or answering any questions they might have, you just let them look over your shoulder and, you know, kind of watch from afar. What you've potentially done in that situation is again, make them feel unwanted and they might feel unwanted because of they think it's how they look, how they talk, their lifestyle, or some other things. Understand we have to be mindful of that. So we got to understand that if we can just invite them, answer those questions, or invite them at the seat of the table, that might be enough that if they're not a part of the community, it will get them to be a part of the community. Number two is examining your delivery, not only towards people, but around people as well. You know people who can just be overly critical or just really abrasive in certain situations when sometimes you don't need to be? I know situations where people just complain about a lot of things in this hobby that you really don't need to complain about, right? And it can be off-putting. Now, I'm not talking about calling out what needs to be called out. We talked about those things in the beginning of the video. But I'm talking about like making nonsense comments like that this hobby sucks because of XYZ or, you know, I hate it when such and such happens. That type of stuff can be off-putting to someone who's trying to get into this hobby. They don't want to deal with more drama when they're trying to get into a hobby to escape the drama, all right? You got to check yourself in how you address things around people or towards people. If it comes off as complaining all the time, trust me, it's going to be really off-putting. So examine your delivery. So for my number three, this is that it's all about them, it's not about us. Why do I say that? Think about this. They've jumped on the boat and they're ready to sail and find out what this hobby is all about. 
we shouldn't be steering the boat for them. We want them to discover things on their way, find out what it is that they like, they don't like, and what they want to get out of this hobby. We're there to just offer suggestions and answer any questions and give any advice that they might have along the way, right? We don't want to be the quarterback at the co-op game table, right? That's super, super off-putting, all right? So be mindful that this is all about them. It's not about us. Lastly, number four, we got to listen to them. Why? Because although they're new to this hobby, they might have something to offer. They might know what it is that our hobby is missing that we never even thought about. I remember back to a conversation I was having with one of my buddies who's been in the hobby for a while and he asked me the question, Jazz, do you know of any board games that celebrate Spanish culture? I sat back and I was thinking about it because it's something I never even thought of before and I couldn't think of anything. Everything that I thought of that had to do with you know, Spanish culture, it all came down to colonization. So people that are coming into this hobby, they have something to offer. They have a voice that needs to be heard and designers, publishers, it might be something that can revolutionize not only our industry, but bring more people into the industry. So I wanna thank you guys for listening to these things that I had to say and just share with you but again, if there are comments that you have down below that you want to suggest or, you know, some points that you want to take or maybe you took from this, you know, please down below, let's have a conversation. Let's continue to make this hobby grow. Let's continue to make it great. Let's continue to get rid of all the nonsense that we don't want to see in the hobby. All right. So without further ado, thank you for coming through. Invite some people to the table. Share the things that you like. Hopefully they discover something worth checking out. Again, like, subscribe. Drop a comment below. I'll check you guys out on the next episode.